Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from the frozen Alaska, beautiful, uh, beautiful country. Um, today, topic uh, will be localizer backers approaches. Uh, so, first of all, we'll start with the boring theory, and um, uh, then I split the video into two part. One part it's uh, basically the Zebo mode, and the second part it's uh, the PMDG mode. Uh, First of all, the regulations. Now, FAA regulates uh, the uh, localizer backers uh, as allowed approaches uh, for many Alaska airport, and uh, EASA, European Safety Agency, doesn't allow to do so. So you can find hardly uh, in any European airport uh, the localizer backers approach. So this is according to the regulation. The way how we can fly uh, the localizer backers are, are um, let's say, uh, I can divide it into the three parts, okay? Uh, it uh, really matters from the option of your airplane. But anyway, uh, f first is uh, El Navinav, okay? Uh, if you are within the um, reasonable temperature. Uh, if you are outside the temperature and you have, for example, minus 40 degrees of centigrade, uh, you have to um, choose the explained valve and add the uh, correction and fly it with the LNAV and vertical speed. And uh, regarding uh, these two ways of flying, so LNAV now or LNAV vertical speed, uh, you have to always uh, have the final approach curse uh, set so to 38 to 38 we had at dead horse airport uh, i didn't mention it and uh, we have localized our uh, mm, frequency 109.3 109.3 as you can see on the diamonds we are exactly uh, in the middle uh, what is important that uh, if you are flying localizer backers uh, mm, with this uh, inbound courses uh, this uh, this diamonds is showing you uh, mm, reversal, sy uh, reversal system so that means that uh, if it's, it is going to the left you have to go to the right uh, what Boeing says? Uh, Boeing says basically uh, that the lock switch is inhibited that's why uh, you shouldn't uh, if you press this button it should not work in a real airplane ok? Uh, so uh, this is the main explanation. We have MSA 2200, make we will make a circle to land, and I will show you uh, why you have to fly on Zebo mode only Elna Vinav or Elna vertical speed, and uh, do not use uh, do not use on the warlock. The, the third option is Ian option. When you have in a Ian option, you may press the approach mode uh, just uh, when you are close to the final approach fix. And now you see on FMA uh, the back curse and glide path. Okay, but uh, this is not valid for Zebo. However, uh, I have set the Ian option here. Uh, it's uh, it's not true. So uh, let's jump to the flight and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, so, so okay, engine anti as we have, perfect. Okay, somehow lift it itself on the ground. Okay, so positive red gear up. Uh, once we have 400, we put the heading select uh, and couple the autopilot uh, in order uh, to let me explain to you. Okay, so uh, we'll make it non standard. Okay, so we'll make the uh, left base leg. I will start the accelerator airplane sooner, okay? Um, mm, it is non standard flight, so mm, disregard the procedures, okay? In this case, uh, so. Uh, we are going to flaps 1, and I will put the engine on test as well because on explain sometimes it 
can happen that uh, your airplane suddenly falls from the sky because uh, you don't have the wing anti eyes on and uh, but uh, in real airplane you must see uh, here or on the wing side uh, right over here you can see the eyes is accumulated okay anyway so uh, we put out the brake for example three uh, let it like it is, we have 1000 to level off vertical speed and make it 1000 in order to have it smooth. Uh, cruise altitude, we put the, mm, first of all, we put departure arrival and uh, we'll start turn on heading 060, which is down in position. And uh, now you can see uh, localizer backers runway to 4, so just execute it and uh, make it with this, with this waypoint uh, with the inbound course of 238 uh, in order just to see you uh, see for you uh, how it work how it should not work okay so um, basically that's it so cruise uh, I will put 5000 I will see what happens okay And uh, we can uh, put, for example, flap 30, uh, 138, 145, uh, rough computation, okay? So, uh, once again, uh, in a real airplane, uh, how you can fly this approach? Uh, within two ways. Uh, LNAV, VNAV, LNAV vertical speed. Uh, but uh, you have to have uh, tune your uh, raw data, so that means uh, your radio navigation aid and MCP panel uh, set as well. And uh, second option, when you have EAN option on the airplane, uh, you can press the approach mode uh, just uh, prior to the final approach uh, fix. And uh, then you can see on FMA uh, back curves and glide path. Okay. But in, uh, as I said before, in Zebo mode, uh, you can fly uh, localizer backcrosses only with the Elna VNAV and Elna vertical speed because uh, EAN approach doesn't work, and as well, um, and uh, when you press this button, it's working, uh, but in a real airplane, it's inhibited. For example, in you, if you put accidentally switch to the ground position, as you can see, the star will open, and this is completely uh, not true because uh, the airplane uh, this uh, this light is inhibited. So uh, there are a few bugs. Uh, uh, PMDG has as well the, um, has as well uh, the bugs, and Zebo has as well. So uh, it's only uh, on the developers. Uh, uh, to watching the videos and or um, let us give uh, them the feedback uh, what is okay and what is not okay uh, on the real airplane and uh, I mean, well that's it so uh, we have 10 nautical miles I will put uh, um, this waypoint uh, which is called uh, this intermediate fix it's uh, Kuvak or something like that I don't know how to spell it uh, it's hard for me uh, in order to uh, let you know that how it works so uh, we can go a little bit down 500 feet uh, it's just a smooth descent so you can see we are out of the cloud so I will put uh, the switches into off position or mm, that precipitation is still present it's so at least engine anti is so uh, should be on okay mm. now you can see we have the VNAV uh, depicted over here so uh, we can easily uh, see how high uh, we are and what to do? Uh, I will put no. I will not put the minimums because we are not going to land at this time uh, with the Zebo mode. Okay. Uh, 
now it looks pretty okay so you have raw data here okay so you have localizer you have guide path and so on uh, many of you knows that uh, um, within the localizer or localizer back curves this is just the advisory information but uh, uh, it's not uh, how to say uh, it's not compulsory uh, uh, controlling uh, this diamond uh, you should uh, believe your V enough uh, or let's say your step altitudes uh, like you have so we'll wait just a few seconds we'll see and basically we can see nothing because uh, we have to, uh, today uh, the broken and scattered as well so we have different cloud layers um, but anyway it's okay So we'll wait uh, five nautical miles. Uh, I will start to decelerate the airplane uh, a little bit. So I'll put flaps one and one eight zero knots, and put non-standard flaps two in order to have the margin for one eighty knots. Um, if somebody asks uh, mm, that it's uh, uh, it's not common to use flaps flaps two, uh, yes, it is. Uh, but you have to always set the non-standard put flaps to um, for example if you're flying uh, on ILS glide path and you can see the airplane is just smoothly accelerating so you can put non-standard flaps to and you can uh, easily see if the airplane uh, can with the flaps to uh, achieve your desired speed which is 180 uh, and 180 should be uh, used uh, up to eight nautical miles. Um, um, if it doesn't work, uh, you can put the flaps five. As you can see, we have 2,300 at or above, and if I'm uh, checking Mac to sky, the temperature is minus 12. Okay. Uh, what with the minus 12 uh, regarding the cold temperature? Some companies are not applying uh, cold temperature uh, when the temperature is uh, up to minus 10 degrees of centigrade. But Boeing says that uh, everything which is below zero, uh, you should apply cold temperature. But uh, come back to localizer backers. So I will make a turn. I will decelerate a little bit uh, in order uh, uh, to make the turn with a higher bank angle and um, see 2300 we have 700 feet to go we are below the, uh, the glide path so it's uh, basically okay and now I will press uh, the warlock switch okay so uh, but you must be uh, your heading must be less than 9 degrees okay uh, in order to catch uh, this and now you can see the mm, this button is working in real AC it doesn't work okay when you press the warlock nothing happens you don't have the green light here and you don't have uh, FMA indication okay so uh, let the airplane fly and we will see how it looks like. I will make it a little bit shallower. I will put back uh, the wing anti eyes. Okay, now it seems that everything is okay. Mm, but uh, we have localizer captured on uh, FMA. Uh, this indication uh, shouldn't happen in real AC. And now you can see uh, what uh, the AC is currently doing. And why is it doing? Uh, because uh, he's following uh, this diamond which is on the left side instead of going to the right side. So we are making a 
we are flying into nowhere or may I, or we will make a circle to land or something like that uh, so come back and uh, uh, let's it make it uh, via where this waypoint again and put it all now uh, now the airplane start turning you can see the diamond still but presented but with the wrong way okay so it should um, it should be um, like before indications okay but anyway you can see that uh, if we are moving uh, back uh, to the localizer back curse uh, which is right right depicted over here so uh, we need to go on the other side in order to catch this diamond. Uh, that's why when, when you are losing Elna, uh, sorry, when you are using uh, Elna vertical speed, uh, you just monitor uh, these diamonds uh, if you are flying OK. Always, uh, this situation is valid as well for VR approach and DB approach. Always, uh, you can fly Elna V of Elna vertical speed, but you have to have turned the VOR or or tune the ADF frequencies and courses, okay? So uh, uh, this is uh, this is Boeing recommendation uh, how to make the things in the proper way. Do not be lazy. Now I have an option, as you can see. Uh, I will put it uh, here. And as you can see, we have uh, Ian appro approach arm. Yes, okay. So that means that uh, if uh, we are close uh, to the Okota point, which is final approach fix, uh, we can uh, put uh, the approach mode, and it should happen uh, back curves and glide path. And you will see that uh, uh, this is uh, not working for us. Uh, but anyway, you can see the diamond is coming here. We, we should go to the left side, but uh, we are on the right side, so we should go to the right as well. So, uh, we put the final uh, missed approach heading uh, to 38, like this one, and we can pre-select the 1600, uh, make That's it to high vertical well. speed, and this is the very shallow uh, descent. Uh, in order to catch the Okota point, as you can see uh, right now, uh, that's basically okay. And uh, this is the proper way, proper way and proper technique how to fly. L now vertical speed. Uh, check the Okota is 1,600, and as you can see, green banana. Uh, we catch this altitude uh, within the 400 feet uh, per minute vertical speed. Uh, uh, at least five nautical miles uh, prior to this point, so we'll, we will level the airplane, uh, which we which we don't like to do. So I will put it a little bit shallower, okay, in order to achieve continuous descent technique, for example, 200 feet, and. Um, Once we are near this waypoint, we put gear down, uh, flaps 15, because uh, as you can see, the Okota point is final approach fix. Uh, it's uh, 3 degree pass, and uh, and it's uh, the distance uh, from the airport threshold. It's approximately four four nautical miles, so it's very close. So we have to be at least geared down and flaps 15. Uh, what I didn't mention: if you are using uh, Ian approach uh, in this case, uh, you have to have the first of all from final approach fix uh, mm, into the runway waypoint. Mm, okay, we don't have the uh, runway. Um, anyway but uh, we have Zimpo point which is mis approach point but uh, it uh, really doesn't care but uh, we have to have three degree of path and we have to have the straight in approach okay the uh, the uh, in, in approach uh, it's not valid for uh, radios to fix points or uh, curved uh, approaches and and approaches uh, which the glide path worries. For example, if we have 3.5 degrees of the angle, uh, like now, 
uh, it is not valid this approach for us and we may not use it uh, as it is okay so we are five nautical miles as you can see we have shallow appro uh, approach uh, because everything is uh, or let's say the first waypoint which was uh, which was this waypoint uh, was intermediate fix and it was 2000 and uh, 300 at or above so that means that uh, if I press delete uh, on the FMC it will show us uh, the given altitude okay uh, but we are on the conservative side right now uh, because we are performing the test flight okay so in this case uh, do not hesitate uh, to fly below uh, that's basically okay when you level the AC um, what is not uh, uh, or let's say uh, when you are mm, the airports are currently, uh, for example, I study the European Safety Agency Air Operational Document. It, uh, this document has 1,100 pages to study, and all of the operators have to do so. And there is completely written that uh, you may uh, you have to use the continuous descent technique. Okay, so right now we are not using uh, continuous descent technique. Uh, let's say, for example, for France is worried, uh, it's so called the green green technique. Okay, uh, in some cases uh, it makes no sense because uh, you have altitude constraints on one waypoint uh, to another waypoint, uh, which is uh, which is basically um absolutely useful because uh, you cannot achieve the continuous descent technique okay so uh we have flaps 5 uh flaps 15 uh gear down and uh now i will revert to the next waypoint which is 9800 at or above so on conservative side we have be always so 1000 feet and now i will press the approach mode okay so and now we have the indications uh, which is glide path and warlock okay uh, the glide path is basically okay because uh, we are uh, we are going uh, via VNAV profile uh, that's perfectly okay but what happens uh, when you have warlock this wrong FMA and as you can see the airplane it's 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 trying to catch uh, the the diamond uh, because the diamond is turning to the right side but when you're flying localizer backers the run runways should turn on the other side uh, and that's why if you are using localizer backers you have always uh, set according to flight training manual 058 so 058 okay and now what we can do uh, we can make it once again so I will put the heading select I will leave it with an altitude hold uh, we'll, we'll turn back uh, we'll reselect res this one and uh, you will see that uh, it doesn't work anyway okay This is the beautiful livery. I wish I could fly for Alaska Airlines, but uh, for me it's completely only a dream. Okay, so we'll press it again. So localizer backers, localizer backers, uh, that's okay. Okay, we have only Zimpo point, uh, which is not what I was looking for. I don't know why it doesn't work. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll wait uh, just a little bit, uh, and we'll see uh, if it is if it is going 
or not Oh, Zimbo point is as well there. Okay, so we'll put the cruise page. Uh, we have 1000 feet, so uh, we are climbing to Okota point, which is 1600. Uh, make it well, level change. Uh, I know this is completely non standard situation. I'll climb with a level change with either gun flap 15, but anyway, uh, basically, it's no problem. Um, or we can climb 2300 uh, and make it 2300 uh, on the overhead panel. As well, uh, why is it not working? Strange, uh, should be with 1000 feet per minute, but anyway, it's okay. So, I can cruise, we put 2300. Make it like this one, departure, arrival, localizer, backers, and now uh, we don't have the Zimpo point. Now, anyway, we need to wait a little bit, uh, because uh, I would like to show you when you are performing uh, this kind uh, of the approach, uh, like... Um, uh, localizer back curves it doesn't work anyway if you put the front the the front course or back curves okay so um, uh, we have over point here ah okay so we have it uh, here so we put it and uh, the curve was 238 with the O point uh, uh, well uh, we can make it uh, with the right turn right now in order just to um, leave the AC, AC flying and uh, do not waste your time uh, so uh, we are going 6,000 and something, 1,600 to Okota, which is final approach fix, and now you can see that uh, even if we have uh, these curses uh, like this one, uh, it doesn't work anyway, okay? I put uh, bang angle to 30 in order to make it uh, Okay, so Kotael now, bang angle turning back, 1600, we can make it shallower as well, and we can put the final approach course to 38, I guess so, 238, yes, it was 238. Uh, 
this uh, signs are uh, just the navigation accuracy points okay so it's RMP and actual navigation uh, performance AMP way uh, points so that means that it will show us um, where we currently are uh, regarding to the flight path we are currently flying uh, just know do not mess it uh, uh, with the uh, for example with this one okay so okay with these diamonds it's completely something different so we'll put 1000 back So my recommendations, uh, guys, if you are flying on Zebo mode, uh, fly at El Navina of El Na vertical speed and uh, uh, make the hard navigation tuning in order to know uh, in which position are you currently um, are currently in. So uh, this this is, this is the first part of the video. The second part of the video uh, will be with PMDG because uh, there. Uh, Ian approach works. Uh, it works in a different way, like uh, like uh, real AC, uh, but somehow it works and it may be used uh, as it is. So we are approaching to Okota point. So press approach mode. Okay, nothing happens. Okay, and we have Ian. A Answered. So we have to tune the ILS frequency and press the approach mode once again. And now it doesn't work uh, anyway. So So as you can see, the Ian approach in uh, Zebo mode uh, doesn't work. Okay. Anyway. So uh, basically that's it, and uh, we can jump uh, to another video with localizer backers. Um, but uh, okay, uh, we can make it uh, lag in different ways. So we can put the heading select. Uh, we can put departure arrival uh, we can put localizer backers and uh, well let's see it and we can fly to 1600 uh, put it as well here 1600 and uh, make the curse of oh sorry make the cruise page 1600 as well and uh, then we can reselect it and uh, make it localizer back curse uh, make this with uh, or let's say uh, try to uh, realize this video as the test flight okay <laughs> so we are testing the zebo mode and we will test the pmdg as well okay um in case of can put it here and we can see where the waypoint is and we are far mm, behind the airport okay so a little change once again uh, start the airplane to climb uh, we'll leave the frequencies like it is uh, but uh, it's a wrong procedure uh, it shouldn't be like this one
so now we are okay so we can reselect the departure arrival uh, make it localizer backers we can make the Okota uh, into the first point uh, like this one to uh, two three eight okay two three eight and starting back turn to the Okota point and uh, now we will see what what happens uh, if we have uh, uh, the front course uh, which is depicted on the chart I will show it uh, like this one maybe it should be more useful for you uh, front course is 058 and this is this is this is uh, when you are using uh, an approach uh, you always uh, need to set the front course 058 okay So this is fine uh, in real ICL now mode should works uh, with this within, within this situation and in Zebo mode I hope it works as well. Um, so we have L now and L now will catch the extended center line so that's uh, quite okay. Okay, so we're making our turn to three eight. Okay, so where we are, we are close to Okota point. Now we put 1000 feet and we press the approach mode. Um, basically, uh, nothing happens. Okay, so then we press the ILS uh, like this one and uh, now we press the approach mode okay and as you can see uh, nothing happens completely uh, so in zebo mode um, mm, i will suggest uh, to use elna vnav and elna vertical speed because uh, this doesn't work okay anyway As you can see, VR is turning, and if you have approach mode as well, you have glide path. That's okay. Uh, 
sometimes but sometimes you have warlock and it basically doesn't work so well that's it and uh, we have to jump to PMDG and see how the situation looks like uh, because uh, it has properly uh, not properly but uh, uh, it is some reasonable way to use the integrated navigation uh, but in as you can see right now uh, if we have uh, EON installed so it should work okay and I guaranteed you to you that if you are using the approach mode and sometimes it working the approach mode but the approach mode is only working with glide path but uh, this FMA is wrong and you can see what the airplane is doing so I will reposition myself and we'll see uh, uh, with the PMDG okay and how it performs uh, the EON approach uh, in case uh in case uh, of uh, of this approach okay guys we are back uh, with the PMDG and uh, the same airport uh, which is dead horse in Alaska uh, you can see the yellow crosses uh, that means that uh, uh, runway is uh, mm, it's closed and it's not thumbed but uh, anyway uh, I look at the charts and look at the no thumbs this runway should be open so we'll perform the same approach but we will use the EON approach okay and regarding to the f uh, when we are uh, when we are flying uh, so I will discuss uh this uh a little bit more uh in details okay so Okay, so a 400 we can put the heading select, we can engage the autopilot um, and uh, right now uh, we may start to turn and mm, just for example uh, we may start to accelerate uh, it really doesn't matter okay the situation so flips one and yeah we may continue to flip up uh, we may reward it to, to 20 uh, in order to have the room space as we have flip up no light uh, I will put uh, um, sorry I forget about the engine anti eyes but anyway anyway uh, we have it so that's perfect condition and right now vertical speed in order to smoothly catch uh, our target altitude which is 5000 feet uh, we can put uh, auto brake on 3 and uh, now uh, if you look at the page uh, we have all Okota point so we can put the Okota point and uh, 238 inbound course uh, just to have something pre-selected and uh, right now how we are flying now with in with EAN mode uh, so first of all this is the frequency so uh, I'm talking right now about flight simulator not the real AC because uh, some of the things are working um, di in the with a different way uh, so 109 decimal 3 so that means uh, 109 
uh, decimal 3 uh, we have it ILS 109 decimal 3 uh, be aware of the fact that most of the flight simulators has pretty much bugs uh, regarding to the real airplane and a real airplane has <laughs> as well the bugs uh, so that means that uh, uh, if I am flying um, in real life uh, with the real IC and it's written that uh, it is geometric bodies and and I and I add the cold temperature error it will not redefine my VNAV path and it will shows so something completely different so uh, well uh, this is the case but um, what well, we have to do nothing okay so we can go down to 1600 vertical speed uh, 500 feet gently and now oh, what is very important uh, to put the front course so 058 and uh, now I will set uh, the flap setting and speed uh, which is approximately 150 and doesn't care about the situation so uh, it's training purpose so uh, it's basically no problem and minimums we, are, we have uh, 340 So we have 340, uh, flaps 5, can go down with the speed, 180, and right now uh, we can start uh, our turn uh, into the base leg uh, and into the final approach fix, which is Okota point, 1600, okay, exactly, so Okota point, like this one level chain oh sorry l now and we may start to decelerate i will put the non-standard flap stand in order to decelerate the airplane and heading select always oh, you have to set it uh, we can put it into the vnav fnc speed vnav path So we'll see uh, the temperature, it's uh, minus 4 degree, but what we are looking for, it's uh, this temperature is minus 8, so uh, we have to add the cold temperature uh, into the final approach fix and step down fix uh, within these waypoints, but uh, as I said before, uh, up to minus 10, it's basically okay, uh, but Boeing says that uh, below zero degrees uh, I have to do so
Okay, so we are now approaching the final approach fix. Okay, we can put gear down, flips 15, arm the speed brakes. We are coming to 1600, we can easily revert uh, into 1000, uh, which is the next waypoint constraint, uh, next uh, step altitude. and now we can arm the approach mode as you can see because the warlock mode uh, doesn't work if you press the war warlock mode uh, it makes uh, as you can see nothing changes and now we have correct FMA back course and glide path okay so uh, 238 is the misapproach heading uh, do not forget about uh, it's a reversal uh, 238 and uh, now we can go to 400 feet uh, which is our MDA uh, we can put a flip 30 and correction is 5 uh, 150 approximately I don't know why it is uh, such a high speed but uh, again the flight simulator contains uh, many of bugs okay so uh, disregard this situation uh, I will just show you uh, comparing to real AC and real AC also show the diamonds okay uh, because you are on integrated navigation approach so uh, this is crucial as we are 300 feet uh, we can revert to 4000 which is miss approach altitude and now as you can see uh, we can see the runway so basically that's no problem for us so we can disengage the autopilot disconnect the outrust system a uh, little bit go down uh, with the speed minimums landing uh, a little bit high above the profile but basically it's okay auto break on 3 Okay, now we are safely on the ground and uh, 60 knots shortly, so closing the thrust levers and basically I will stop on the runway and uh, set the parking brake. Uh, 
so uh, this is uh, how we can fly the localizer back crosses uh, within the proper way okay so I hope you like the video and uh, if you have s some doubt uh, just leave me a comment and we, we may discuss it uh, later on okay so have a nice day uh, from Alaska and uh, have a safe landing as well so bye bye